Flying video, you can only wear pink. What do you say we get to move after school, girly? I don't think we can, Sky. Remember, we have that dumb mandatory school thing? Nah, I'm pretty sure that's tomorrow night. Oh, really? Well, in that case, sure. I'd love to catch a movie with you. Great work today, everyone. I just want to take this moment to remind you all that we have our school's black tie charity benefit coming up tomorrow night on the school's yacht. Remember, you all are to choose a charity of your choice and then fundraise for it. Mm, I'm gonna Bears. Well, I am certainly glad you are all excited about your charities, but remember, this is a black tie event. Oh, Mr. Teacher Man, sir? Yes, Sky. Um, does black ties mean we have to come wearing ties? Because I don't own any black ties. <laughs> no, you idiot. I can't believe you actually think a black tie means a real black tie. Oh my gosh, good one, Ashley. Shut up, Ashley. Yeah, shut up, Ashley. And besides, if it doesn't mean black tie, then what is it? Okay, ladies, ladies, calm down for a moment and not throw around insults like idiot or loser. We all know how painful words can be. Well, in a minute, she's gonna know how painful my fist can be. Sky, now, an answer to your question is black tie means wearing black formal attire only. And that is a mandatory statement from the principal. Everyone has to show up looking their best in appropriate clothes. No Crocs, no custom vans, or Squishmallow backpacks. Aww. One hour later. Uh, are they behind us? Don't worry about them. Just ignore them, Sky. Oh, what's the matter, Mackenzie? You're not gonna wear your standard baby pink outfit to the benefits? Oh my gosh, Ashley, have you ever realized how Mackenzie only wears pink? Oh, I do. And pink is so last year. Everyone knows only babies wear pink. Where do you get your information from? Off the back of a toilet? Everyone knows pink rules, and tough guys wear pink. Thanks for sticking up for me, Sky. Even though we all know that even you wouldn't be caught dead wearing pink. Oh, God, no. See, I'll never get you away from your signature blue. At least you know it. That way it won't come off as such a surprise. Seriously, though, Mackenzie, you should be embarrassed by the amount of pink you wear. Nobody wears pink after elementary school. Yeah, everyone knows that. Are you guys really picking on me for liking a color? Have you, like, run out of other things to pick on me for? So that's what you're gonna go with? Don't kill the messenger! We're just telling you the truth, freak! Yeah, Mackenzie, you should really stop wearing pink. I mean, what happens if it was banned from your closet or something? Or even worse, what happens if you had to wear pink? Oh, God, no! That would never happen! I'd rather die! Oh, my gosh, this is too perfect! Hey, Mackenzie, is your Nana lost or something? Yeah, Mackenzie, she looks just like you, but an ugly old lady. Stop it. You shouldn't speak to her like that. I am so sorry, ma'am. I'm guessing you had bullies back in your day, too. Sorry, Grandma, but do you know that wearing pink at your age is kind of unacceptable? Yeah, try beige or something else that helps you blend in. Stop it, guys. You're being, like, so mean. Yeah, what if she was your grandma? Would you want someone talking to her that way? What are you talking about? This is the way I speak to my grandma. Why am I not surprised by that? Disappointed, but not surprised. Get it, Sky. Let's just get out of here. Make sure to take a good look, Mackenzie. This is what you're gonna look like, freak. <laughs> Next morning. Morning, honey. Morning, mom. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, mom. Can you hear me? Ribbit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That wasn't an answer. <gasps> Wait a minute. That old lady said something about everyone who doesn't wear pink will be turned into a frog. And mom wasn't wearing pink. I mean, that can't be a coincidence, right? Ribbit. That's not helping. I need some help here, not animal noises. Okay, okay. Calm down, Kenzie. Calm down. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for this. <gasps> oh no. Sky. Meanwhile. Hi, Mrs. Sky. Crazy. Get it? I 
can't waste any time. Here, take my bows. Hey, why would you do that? You know I hate pain. Okay, now that I'm pretty certain you're safe, listen. I think that old lady from yesterday may have been a witch. As in like she was super mean or like black cat, warts on nose, Sabrina kind of witch. Yeah, that one. Look, I know it seems kind of crazy, but she said she was going to curse everyone in town who wasn't wearing pink. And well, my mom wasn't wearing pink today and now she's a frog, so I'm pretty certain that she was telling the truth. Okay, now that you mention it, I do kind of remember her saying that. All right, good. So you're caught up. Anyways, we need to find this witch. And we need to reverse the curse before everyone in Brookhaven turns into a frog. I know that sounds like the responsible thing to do, but don't you think it would be kind of funny walking through a town of frog people? Yeah, not really. And now that I'm thinking about it, those bows are definitely not pink enough from turning you into a frog. So hurry, we need to put on more pink. Uh, girly, you know as good as I do that I don't own any pink. Okay, well, that might be a problem because she said we can only wear pink. Come on, we need to find you some pink clothes and Moments later. Ooh, look at those pretty new blue pants. Guy, not the time. Come on, put a pink outfit on. Ugh, you know how much I hate pink. Well, it's either that or living on a lily pad, so pick. Ugh, okay, fine. Ah, I look ridiculous, like a giant piece of bubble gum with legs. Aw, actually, I think you look kind of cute. Pink with red hair? Are you insane? Hello there. Can I help you find anything today? Uh-oh. Huh? What's wrong? Grab it. I told you. Meanwhile, you think this is it? How should I know? I was just asking if you think this is where a witch would live. Oh, in that case, yeah. I'm pretty sure most kids skip this house trick or treating. Come on, let's check it out. Hello? Is anyone there? Who's asking? Oh my gosh, I did not see you standing there. Wow, I think I just had me peed myself a little bit. Wow, real nice guy. You two, you two are from yesterday. You were with those awful girls. Yes, yes, we were. And we're wearing all pink, just like you asked. As you should. It's going good, girly. Keep going. You see, we're not actually friends with those girls from yesterday. They're not part of us. They bully us, and they bullied you. And the things they said to you were awful. Truly awful. And we would know, because they kind of say stuff like that to us every day. How do I know you're only saying this because you realize my powers over the town were real? Yeah, about that. We can't live in a town of frogs. Sorry, I had to say it. Look, what Ashley did to you yesterday was super unkind. It was horrible, but you can't just punish the whole town by turning them into frogs. I'm not punishing everyone, only those who won't wear pink. But I'm sure you can see that that's just a little bit unfair considering not everybody knows that. So basically, by the morning, you're just gonna have a town full of frogs. Come on, girly, we're not getting anywhere with this. Look, the spell I placed on this town is only temporary. Oh, what a relief. Wow, you are a good witch, aren't you? But you can only wear pink until the strike of midnight tonight. Oh, well, that's easy. We can do that, right, Sky? Uh, Kenzie, do you know what day it is? Wait a minute. The black tie benefit is tonight. No, 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 no. We have to wear black dresses. It's mandatory. Well, that's your choice. But if you wear any other color but pink, you'll be forced to become a frog. Moments later. We Ribbit, ribbit. You have a good night, too. What are we gonna do? We either break the mandatory dress code or we become frogs. You heard the witch guide. You can only wear pink. What if we wear black dresses but with pink socks and pink bows? Um, I'm pretty sure that's cheating. What do you mean cheating? If there's a rule book on this whole thing, I think now would be a good time to tell me. Look, I know you're not gonna like this, but there's only one way of getting out of this. A few moments later. We look like pieces of Better salmon than a frog. Now, come on. Here we go. Let's try and not have this be a huge disaster. Well, 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 freak loser. I suppose there's a reason as to why you two disobeyed the rules and chose to dress like a couple of nerdy flamingos. You know, Ashley, in about 10 seconds, you're going to feel pretty sorry that you're not wearing the color pink. What are you talking about, you freak? I would never rib it. Aw, I like her much better this way. Rib it. Sorry, what are you saying there, 
Actually, yeah, I don't speak frog. Ribbit! You know, it really isn't nice for you to make fun of someone for what color they wear. You have to think pretty low of yourself if you're gonna bully someone for liking a color. Especially a grown-up. Hasn't anyone ever told you to respect your elders? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I really do like frog, Ashley. Hello there. Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? We're wearing pink, see? Please don't turn us into frog. I was hiding out at the benefit all along. I wasn't gonna say anything, but I was so moved by the words you spoke to Ashley and how you stood up for me. No one has ever done that for me before. So moved, in fact, that I'm going to reverse the curse early. That's really nice of you, but can we maybe keep that frog, Ashley, for just a little bit longer? Today, me and my best friend Sky can only wear blue while we complete challenges. later. Oh, this big outfit is so cute. I want it. Kenzie, what are you doing? You're supposed to be picking blue outfits, not pink ones. But I love pink so much. But you have to wear blue. But look how pretty this is. Kenzie, I am taking the wheel now. You're going to have to let me pick the outfit because you are taking way too long. But, but nothing, girly. Now, come on over here. All right, now try this blue outfit on. Ew, girly, this is horrendous. <laughs> Are you trying to make me the laughing stock of the town? Okay, okay, stop complaining and try this on, girly. Ugh, all right, it better be better. All right, here. Hmm, <laughs> I love it. This is worse than the other one. Okay, okay, fine, I'll take it seriously now. Moments later. There it is, here's the one. All right, let me try it on. Ugh, I hate it, but it's not as bad as the other one, so it'll have to do. Finally, it took you long enough. Because you kept on picking out the absolute worst outfits on the planet. Oh, you were just being picky. No, I Defs wasn't. I was picking bomb outfits. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, girly. Anyways, guess what? Chicken butt? No, the challenge starts now. Uh, what the heck is going on? This is terrifying. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I told you we should have worn pink. Uh, why aren't you wearing pink? Yeah, like seriously, do you even know what day it is? Uh, no. No, but we're having a challenge today where we can only wear blue. And the winner... Stop right there. On all days you pick today to have that challenge? Are you serious? Uh... We don't know what day it is. It's National Pink Day. It is not okay to wear anything but pink, so go change. Yeah, before we make you... Yeah, and if we have to make you, it's not gonna be so pretty. Uh, Kenzie? Yeah? Run! Ah! Five minutes later. Jeez. Why are people so crazy? Good question, girly. Put on your pink or I am reporting you to the pink police. Yeah, you better do what my wife says. She doesn't joke around. Are you kidding me? On all days to see the Brookhaven Karen and we pick today. And her husband Darren is the absolute worst. Jeez. Come on, let's get out of here before they scream at us more. You better not be running away from us. That is not okay. Let's go hide out at mine. I think it's the only safe place right now. Agreed. A few moments later. Okay, we should be safe now. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Boy, do I have some upsetting news for today. Mackenzie and Sky are not wearing pink today, and they're the only ones not wearing pink. So I propose an idea. We need to go to her house and make them wear pink because this is this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. We are so done for, girly. Yeah, and we can't go to mine because it's being fixed up. Oh, no. They're already here. Well, as long as we don't leave, we should be fine. They can't possibly come inside. 
Meanwhile... Mackenzie and Sky, get out here right now. This is your last warning. And if you don't come outside, we'll have no choice but to come inside and take matters into our own hands and make you put that pink on. So come outside with pink on or else... Yeah, get outside before we come in there. We aren't playing around. Meanwhile... Curly, I don't know what to do. We are so done for. We should just go outside before they break in and make us do it. Kenzie! Kenzie, chill out! You need to focus up and listen to me right now. We need to escape and get the heck out of here. But how? We need to leave through the back door. Oh, that's a great idea. Jeez, why didn't I think of that? Kenzie, we literally go over this every single time. It's because I'm the brains of the operation. Shh, I don't know about that. We don't have time for this right now, girlies. We've got to get the heck out of here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we got to hurry up, girly. I'm going as fast as I can. We're free. Meanwhile, we've been waiting long enough. Let's get in there before they try to pull a fast one on us. Let's get ready to storm in. Mackenzie and Sky, get down here right now. Oh, I think they already left, George. That does seem to be the case, but they can't hide for much longer, but they can keep running, but we'll definitely catch them. A few moments later. Hey, girl. Can we just stop the challenge now? Well, we can't because you already shook on it, but if you want to change, be my guest. You totally can, and that would mean you lose and I win, and then you can't wear pink all summer long. No way, never. Get back here and put some pink on. Yeah, you're not getting away with this. We got to hurry, girly. Yeah, these people are ruthless. We should totally seal that, girly. Think of how fast we'll go. We can't, though, because it's not blue. But we're going to get swallowed whole by the mob if we don't. Come on. We got to keep going, girly. Ugh, fine. Oh, my gosh. Girly, look. That's the one. Hurry. Now's our chance. Oh, sick. Woohoo! Come on, Sky. Take us to the promised land. Now, hurry. Get us out of here. Drive as fast as you can. Don't worry. I'm going to drive like a maniac. Okay, relax. Don't kill us, though. Calm your rocks, girly. I got this. I will, but do not see all of those things. was here. There's no way. Sir, there's two hooligan girls Mackenzie and Sky stole your car. Are you kidding me? Ugh. What on earth is this? What's the whole point if they can't answer the darn emergency line? Hi, this is George and George can't get to the phone right now because he's too busy chasing down Mackenzie and Sky trying to get them to put on their pink outfits. All police matters must wait until tomorrow. Beep. Of all days, are you serious? The next day... Ugh, that was the worst sleep of my life. I don't know why people go camping and sleep on the ground. It's awful. <laughs> oh my gosh, girly, your hair! <laughs> oh my gosh, your hair too! Oh my gosh, that's awful! I cannot be seen in public like this! Well, finally, at least we can go back into town and complete our challenge. And get each other to do dares while wearing our blue outfits. Yeah, but we definitely need to go back to yours and freshen up first so we don't look like crazy people running around Brookhaven and then get arrested. Good idea, girly. I hope I don't get arrested for stealing that car, though. No one saw that, except that Karen, and no one's gonna believe her anyway. Yeah, I hope so. One hour later. Whoa, I feel way better and less crazy, too. So, you ready to lose the challenge or what? Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, girly, but I have a feeling you'll be the one all upset after all this. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Hey, guess what? Chicken butt? Monkey butt, come on. It was literally so obvious. How did you not guess that? Moments later. Okay, you ready, girly? Oh, you know it. Okay, I'll go first since we're in your colors. Won't we'll make a difference, but go right ahead. I dare you to drink this Starbucks. What? But it's not blue, girly. I cannot drink that. Why not? Because then I'd lose. Oh, right. Maybe we didn't think this one through. Meanwhile... I see them! There! Down there! Let's get them! Uh, Sky? What? Ah, Kenzie, save yourselves! No, Sky! Looks like we finally caught you! No, no, I'm wearing all pink! Yes, that means I win! Woohoo! Time to get McKenzie now! Get her! 
three weeks later. Ah, sweet victory. This is awful. You know that. I don't even look like me. People keep asking who I am. Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> Loser. Today, we're in Brookhaven, but you can only wear purple. What are you doing? Would you stop flipping through the channels? What? What do you want me to do, girly? I want you to pick a show and settle on it. Yeah, well, it's not my fault your TV isn't playing anything good. Um, I don't think it's my TV's fault. Well, what else would it be then? I don't know. Maybe the fact that there's nothing good on TV right now? It's not anyone's fault. Great, Sky, now you've landed on the news. Well, maybe it's something good. On the news? Very doubtful. Hello, this is Laura with Brookhaven News. No breaking news today, but a little fun for a change. This weekend, we will be hosting Brookhaven's first ever best friend pageant downstairs from our news station at the modeling studio. Best friend pageant? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is the best ever. And we are the bestest best friends in the whole world, so clearly we need to be in it. Okay, shh, shh, let's hear what else she has to say. We are encouraging all best friends to come out and show what makes them unique. All are welcome this weekend for our very first best friends pageant. All that we ask is for each set of best friends to come dressed alike with a theme picked out. I sure can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Oh, I thought we could just coast for the rest of the week, but we have so much to do. We need to go shopping. We need to get our hair done. We have to choreograph a routine. And we need to pick out what to wear. Whoa, with all of this, should we even go to school? You know I would say no, but I think my mom would argue with that. How are we even going to remember what to do first? Come on, let's go into the kitchen and make a list. Moments later. Okay, so first we should be choreographing exactly what we should be doing at the pageant. Now, uh girly, Laura clearly said that we need to come dressed alike and have a theme picked out. So clearly that's where we should start. Okay, okay, you're right. So we should pick out what we're gonna wear. Something pink, of course. Wait, hold up. Why would we wear something pink? Well, because pink is like the best color ever. Maybe to you. No, to a lot of other people. There's no saying out there that says on Wednesdays we wear green. Pink is so powerful. I don't know. Pink is just so out there. I thought maybe we'd wear blue. Blue? But why would we wear blue? Blue is the color of sadness and rain. Ever notice how sad the Care Bear is blue? No, no. Blue is not cheerful enough. What's more cheerful than the color of the sky? Hey, you're just saying blue because blue is your favorite color. Um, I'm pretty sure that's why you chose pink. Am I right? No, it's not just because I like pink. Pink is just better. Ugh, I don't know how to explain it. No, you just think it's better because it's what you like. And you always think you're right. What? No, Sky. I never said that. Anyways, we're just talking about colors here. You don't have to go and make it personal. You're the one who made it personal when you said pink is better. I'm sorry I didn't realize you personally invented the color blue. Then I would have been a little bit more sensitive. You could just never let anyone else do what they want, can you? It always has to be your way. My way? You're the one who won't even budge an inch and let me pick out the color of our outfit. Why should I have to be the one to budge? Well, why should I? Forget it. I'm out of here. Fine. Be that way. Ugh. Later that same evening. Ugh, I can't believe Sky and I got in a fight over such a dumb thing like a color. Who cares about a color anyways? It's not that important. If only there was a way where she didn't have to wear pink and I didn't have to wear blue. And we could both just get what we wanted. <gasps> Wait a minute, maybe we can. Ooh, I've got the best idea ever. Man, why do all my best ideas come at night when I don't have any access to any fancy science equipment? Ugh, never mind. Okay, we need to go test something. A few moments later. Okay, let me try to put myself back into science class here. I only want pink, which is a shade of red, and Sky only wants blue. There's gotta be a way where we can combine these colors together. That way, we can both win. Now, let's see. What would happen if I mix blue and red? Ha! Ah! Here it is! According to this experiment, if we mix blue and red together, then we get purple! Which may not be our favorite color, but it is definitely something in the middle! This is amazing! Purple it is! Now, all I have to do is go and tell Sky about it. I'm sure she's also not doing anything else that's important at 3 o'clock in the morning! Meanwhile... Early, what are you doing? Sky, listen to me! I've had a breakthrough! Okay, well clearly I'm dreaming! first and then we'll talk tomorrow. Good night, my imaginary version of Mackenzie. No, no, Scott, you're not dreaming. It's me. What? Girlie, do you have any idea what 
time it is? Yeah, I do. And I'm sorry. And I'm also sorry with fighting with you. I shouldn't have been so stubborn. I apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Depending on what you're talking about, I can't really remember right now. Listen, Sky. if we take two of our favorite colors and we put them together, then we get purple. That is the key. That is what we'll wear to the pageant. We can only wear purple and purple will be our theme. Purple? Yeah, purple. It's a mix between blue and red. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I mean, I still don't know why you showed up here in the middle of the night looking like you just drank five pink drinks with extra caffeine, but I'm on board. The only problem is, is I don't own any purple. That's an easy fix, and that's what Rockstar is for. We'll go shopping and only buy purple. We can't get any other colors? No, in fact, since this might be really hard for us, we might as well only wear purple until the day of the pageant. So we'll each pick a purple outfit for us to wear in preparation for the pageant. Then we can't change out of it until after the pageant. I mean, but why do we have to pick each other's outfits? No offense, but I do not want you to dress me. Cause it's way more fun that way, Sky. All right, all right, I'm in. Challenge accepted. All right, let's do this. Early, do you think maybe I can go back to sleep first? The next day. moments later.
several days later. Welcome to Brookhaven's very first best friend pageant. Up first, we have Ashley and Ayla. deep in thought when I first walked in. Care to share with the class? Oh, it's nothing. We're just starting to think about our Halloween plans. Ugh, I hate Halloween. <gasps> I beg your pardon? My hearing must have just momentarily gone out. Because it sounded to me like you said you hate Halloween. That's right. When I was a kid, my parents were dentists and I was never allowed to eat candy. They also put a sheet over my head so I could be a ghost and cut the eye holes when I was in it. Wow, sounds like child abuse to me. I still have nightmares about that silly made-up holiday. You know, it's not actually a made-up holiday in ancient times. Whatever. I had enough of Halloween and anything to do with it. And if the holiday has any religious ties, that is enough to get it banned from the school. What? You can't do that. Witches, werewolves, vampires, it's all very inappropriate for school if you ask me. But... But Halloween doesn't even take place during school. Trick or treating and all the other fun stuff is at night. I don't care. From now on, there will be no mention of Halloween while on school property. Anyone who brings it up gets detention and that's final. No, you can't do this. Yeah, what else are we supposed to talk about for the next month? And all Halloween talk is banned in five, four. Quick, Sky, let's sing This is Halloween from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, um, I don't remember the words, girly. Wow, what a time to forget the words. And one. All Halloween talk ends now. A few moments later. I am so upset, girly. I can't even see straight, let alone do math homework. What a day. First they have no Halloween candy, and now Halloween is banned? How are we supposed to last the next month if we can't even mention the holiday? Forget that. No mention of Halloween means no Halloween candy in my lunch. We need to find a way to bring Halloween back to school. Are you kidding? I do not want to 
attention, girly. No, we can't do it in a way that will get us noticed. We have to be super subtle about it. Like what? Only wear orange to silently get the point across because orange is basically the official color of Halloween. Okay, I could tell by the tone of your voice that you were joking, but actually, Sky, that's kind of a great idea. Oh, really? Aw, I was hoping you wouldn't like it. Wait, why? Because I hate the color orange. Look at my hair. I look like a giant bottle of ketchup. Okay, well, we can't think of our personal feelings towards the color. What we need to think about is a way of supporting Halloween without getting in trouble. And it sounds like this is gonna be the only way. So you're saying we can only wear orange in solitary with Halloween for how long? Until we get it unbanned. Come on, Sky, we can do this. If I don't sound enthused, it's not that I'm not excited, girly. I'm just not thrilled about having to wear the color orange. Yeah, now that I think about it, it could pose a bit of a problem. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not sure I own anything that's orange. The next day... Sky, please tell me you're not in there under the giant pumpkin. And that is just someone else's best friend that's wearing a jack-o'-lantern on their head. Nope, it's me, girly. Alive and in person. Sky, the whole point of this was to be subtle. There is literally no being subtle when you look like the king of Halloween Town himself. Hey, give me a break. This is the only thing that I could find in my house that was orange. It's my mom's. It's not like we have a lot of orange lying around. Nobody buys the red-headed kid orange clothes, girly. All right, all right. I guess it can be somewhat of a statement. Let's just hope that we can fit your big pumpkin head through the doors of the school. Hey, that's not very nice. Oh, you're talking about the literal pumpkin on my head. Got it. Moments later. Ooh, it's kind of hot in here. Is anyone else hot? No, it's because you have a giant pumpkin on your head. I really don't see how you're going to be able to see the board with that on. Oh, don't worry, girly. I can see through the eye holes. Oh, my God. I think Frank is officially an understatement. Oh, look, Ashley. A jack-o'-lantern. I wonder if I can take it home. Shut up, Ayla. It clearly has a loser attached to it. What are you going to do with the pet loser? I'm sorry. Don't you have some other little kids to go torment, Ashley? Wait a minute. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, didn't the teacher say Halloween is banned? So, we're making a statement. Standing up for what we believe in. <gasps> oh, you are totally breaking the rules. Oh, oh, let's tell her then. Shut up, Ayla. I have a much, much better idea. Oh, I swear, I'm gonna get you two in detention if it's the last thing I ever do. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Have you heard of the annoying orange? Might just be a little inspiration behind our outfits today. You, did you not hear the rules? Clearly, I spelled it out for you yesterday. I don't think they did. Please send them directly to detention. Ashley, quiet. Hey! Quiet. What did we do? Did you not hear me yesterday when I so clearly stated that Halloween is banned or was I speaking gibberish? Not to talk back or anything, but you can't really ban a color. I mean, we're just wearing the color orange. Yeah, what's wrong with an innocent color? I'm pretty sure the giant squash on Sky's head is considered property of Halloween. Ashley isn't supposed to be talking, but that's correct. Your outfits completely go against my rule of no Halloween in school. Even though it's, like, just the color orange? I don't care. Orange is the color of Halloween, so consider orange banned as well. But, but I have an orange for lunch. Uh, just shut up, Ayla. God. I might not be able to ban a color, but I can send you two to detention. No, no, I don't want to go to detention. Girly, do something. What do you expect me to do? You're the one with a giant pumpkin on your head. Later that same evening. Psst, girly. Shh, Sky, don't talk. Why not? I don't know, but the kids in here are seriously scary. I saw that one touch of fire. They have no fear, Sky. How are we gonna get out of here? I don't know, but I've counted 60 minutes, which means there's only 30 more to go. Oh my god, does that kid over there have an axe? Don't make eye contact, Sky. I'm trying, girly. At least if he attacks me, this pumpkin will protect my head. One eternity later. Wow, that was literally the worst, and I thought being in class with Ashley was bad. Yeah, hey, maybe we should have put those detention kids in class with Ashley. They might be good for each other. I'll tell you what, Sky. this whole thing, it was a big mistake. What do you mean? Why did we agree to only wear orange in the first place? Uh, to try and get Halloween unbanned? Yeah, well, clearly that didn't work. Not only did we not score points with the teacher, we didn't save Halloween, and we got detention. That, to me, is an overall fail. Eh, uh, don't be too hard on yourself. It could have been worse. Stop right there! Oh my god, why are they chasing us? I don't know, but just keep running! Why are we running? We haven't done anything. Well, what I'm seeing is you and someone is chasing you. What the heck? Why are you chasing us? We haven't done anything. We are innocent. We have the 
the escaped prisoners. Over. We're coming back to jail now. Escaped prisoners? Meanwhile... Can we please get out of here already? Not so fast. Before we go any further, I want to take a moment and ask why on earth you captured us and brought us to jail? We've had a lot of prisoner breaks recently, and well, clearly you two are prisoners, because who else would wear all orange? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. You've clearly gone to great lengths to hide your face. I mean, why else would you be wearing a pumpkin on your head? Oh, we're not escaped prisoners. Wow, this idea was so dumb. We're just dressing up for Halloween. Isn't it a little early? Early for Halloween? I mean, the candy isn't even out yet. That's what we said! I guess it kind of makes sense that you're not prisoners. Prisoner jumpsuits don't say boo on them. Moments later. What a day! That's it, Sky. Not only was this a colossally dumb idea, but Halloween is doomed. I don't even want to celebrate anymore after the day that we had. First of all, I don't think colossally is a word. Second, come on, Curly. We can't let one bad experience ruin a great holiday. Wait a second. Say that again? Colossally isn't a word? No, the other part. That's it. Our teacher had a bad experience for Halloween as a child. Therefore, he hates it now. His parents won't even let him have candy as a kid, remember? Yeah, so? So, that's it. Maybe giving him a good Halloween memory will save it. Come on, let's go. Later that same evening. Hi, Mr. Teacher Mint, sir. Uh, we have something for you. <gasps> How dare you? How many times do I have to tell you all things to do with Halloween are banned in this school? No, we're not here for that. We're here to give you the Halloween you never got as a kid. Your parents may have been dentists, but we're not. And you can have all the candy you want. Look, we brought you some of our favorites. Oh, wow. I really appreciate that. Starting from this moment on, Halloween is officially unbanned. Big day. We're in Brookhaven, but you can only wear green. Ah, oh, can't say Brookhaven, but you can only wear green. What on earth are we going to do? What? What do you mean, girly? What's going on? Uh, do you ever pay attention? Oh, Lord. Hello? Where are you? You're out so late at night. Again, you must be cheating on me. You're cheating on me. How can you do this to me? I am not cheating on you, baby. I promise I would never. Yes, you are. Why else would you leave in the middle of the night? I would never. I definitely am not doing that. I promise. Can you please just, like, come home then, baby? A few moments later. And Jesus, why would you leave in the middle of the night? Please, baby, don't worry. I love you with all my heart. But you just left in the middle of the night. I went for a walk because I was stressed. That's it, baby. Now, come on. Let's go to bed. All right. Well, good night, honey. I love you. One hour later. Thank God. She's asleep. All right. Time to get to business. Later that night. Ugh. Where on earth are they? Typical. We're right where we're supposed to be, Mr. Beth Jesus. Oh, jeez. You guys gotta scare me like that? We didn't mean to scare you. We were only granting your wish. Now tell us what you want. I want all the wealth in the world. If you can get everyone to wear green, I'll turn them all into money. But if you fail to get anyone in green, you yourself will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh my lord, what's that? That place does not matter at the moment. Continue on your quest and do not fail. The consequences of failure are grand. My plan for world domination is almost complete! Ha 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 ha! Wow, I really gotta make sure I'm wearing green or else I am done for. Two weeks later. I'm Laura, and I am joined by Beth Jesus tonight. Hey, everyone. I am so thrilled to be here. I love coming to speak to everyone on the breaking news. The citizens of Brookhaven are my absolute favorite people in the world, and I feel so lucky to live here. But right now, I need everyone's help. I'm throwing a massive fundraiser for the betterment of the environment. I'm going to call it Environment Day, and everyone needs to wear green for it. That sounds like an amazing... Amazing idea, Mr. Beth Jesus. I love it. You heard the legend. Everyone wear green. This is going to be a special time. Thank you for joining me today. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. A few moments later. Girly, I seriously have no idea what to wear. I feel like I'm going insane. It's such an awful color for beauty. Well, why don't we just dress as mummy? Don't be silly. We need to figure something out. We need to look amazing. Uh. Rockstar? I guess it's our only option. Because I have absolutely no outfit 
ones that are green. And this is just so last minute. And I'm trying my best to keep it together, but I just can't. Right? And if Rockstar doesn't have any outfits, we might as well just give up because we'll totally be finished. Ugh, this is horrible, girly. Okay, we gotta figure this out ASAP. Moments later. Okay, I think I have a few things that are pretty cute. Thankfully, ugh, what would we do without Rockstar? I hate to rush you ladies, but if you're looking to buy green outfits, I would hurry as fast as possible because they're gonna sell out fast now. So buy them ASAP. That is such a good point. Okay, I think I got one. Yeah, me too. All right, let's try them on before we go and buy them. A few moments later. I'm not sure if these are the ones. You don't think so? I'm not sure. I'm just not 100% confident in them. You both look bougie. Oh my, you need to buy those outfits. You look posh, ladies. Very posh. You think so? I know so. Ew, that's a relief. All right, let's get them then. Moments later. All right, so what's the plan then, girly? To take this event by storm and shock the world. Well, it looks like everything is going to plan. The plan Grand Wizard had to turn everyone into money if we are wearing green to give to Mr. Buff Jesus in exchange for all of them to the Shadow Realm is like genius. I just can't believe everyone is following the orders. This is amazing. I can't believe it's actually going to work. What? What on earth are you talking about? Turning everyone into money? Yeah, uh, what's going on? Oh, shoot. Some weird kids overheard me. I gotta run! Wait, what? Who is he even talking to? Come on, Jesse. He's getting away! Get back here, you little poo bag! I don't understand what's going on! He's making sure we turn into money and then our souls get sent somewhere. This is crazy, this. We have to stop him before it's too late. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Get back over here and stop running. Oh, uh, we're the police. I'm definitely not stopping. You're not the police. Stop lying. Oh, he didn't believe me. Well, honestly, girly, uh, that was a horrible lie. One eternity later. Have fun climbing this, losers. Oh, why must he do this to us? I'm exhausted. You're terrible, you know that? Oh, where the heck did he go? I don't know. He's probably at the top, and there's only one way up. This is the worst thing ever. Oh, my legs are on fire. One eternity later. Ugh. Surprise. They have the worst luck. I mean, what could possibly get worse now? Turning into money, girly. We gotta get home and change out of these outfits ASAP. Oh my gosh, you're right. But look, now we're just so far. Yeah, but I've got a shortcut. What? A teleportation machine? No, those thingies. The drone things? Yes. No way, Jose, girly. Last time I did that, I broke all of my bones. Girly, do you want to be turned into money? Uh, I guess you're right. Come on. Holy moly, I'm flying, girly! This is so cool! Yeah, you're kind of right. Five minutes later. Reggie, it's time to drop! All right, let's do it! Ah, I don't want to die! Come on, we gotta hurry. We gotta go home and change and then go and talk to George. Five minutes later. This has got to be like the worst day ever. I totally agree. Can't enjoy anything in life anymore. I swear, there would be no Brookhaven without us, girly. Uh, yeah, I a few moments later. Uh, I literally can't speak. I haven't run that much in my whole life. Oh, uh, what's going on? These crazy wizards are going to turn everyone into money that's wearing green. Excuse me? <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've ever heard. How so? Because this is an event for the environment, not to make money. It's for the good. Are you listening right now? Because it doesn't seem like it. You both need to stop and leave before I phone your mothers. Uh, A few moments moments later. Everyone, you need to get out of your green outfits. Yeah, these crazy wizards are gonna turn everyone into money. Come on, save yourself. Excuse me, you both need to stop going around and screaming at other people to change. It isn't okay. It's a fundraiser and you will be arrested if you don't stop this behavior. No, we will not stop. We are trying to save everyone. Why is no one listening to us? Because you both sound crazy. No, not. Maybe everyone else is for not listening to us. Come on, Sky. Let's just get out of here. We need to save as many people that will listen. Yeah, you're right. Excuse me. You both need to come with me. Uh, we're guests not. Don't make me handcuff you girls. Just come with me and you will be released tomorrow. But if you resist, you'll be arrested and put in jail for a while. Not happening! 11 minutes later. Please, George, how long have you known us? You have to 
deal is it? Whatever. Who cares? Just let them all turn into money. You can't just sit back and let that happen, girly. There is nothing left that we can possibly do, though. We have to at least try. You both need to chill with your crazy theories and let me eat my donuts in peace. A few moments later. Everyone, please show up at the city center of Brookhaven at 12 midnight wearing all green and the winner of the best outfit will win one million dollars. Holy moly, Beth Chazos, that is a lot of money and very generous of you. You heard it here first, folks. One million dollars. Can't wait to see you all there tonight, folks. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile, did you hear about the competition tonight? One million dollars for the person wearing the best green outfit. We have to both enter. We don't have anything green, though. Those funny green costumes from when we were younger. Oh, my God, babe. Those are perfect. Uh, how can everyone be so clueless? This is so sad. They literally just need to give up. Yeah, I agree. Well, I guess the good news is we'll have the city almost all to ourselves. Later that night. I look so darn good. I'm definitely going to win this competition without a doubt in my mind. Hey, George, before you go, uh, can you come over here? What's up? Can you let us go? No. But it was all just a joke, I promise. Yeah, we promise to never do it again. Yeah, plus we'll go straight home and avoid the fundraiser completely. Please? Are you kidding me? You lied? How could you lie to me and lie to everyone? That is so not okay. I know, and we're super sorry, and we'll never do it again. We promise. Yeah, we won't bother anyone for the rest of the Okay, fine. But if you're at the fundraiser or do anything bad, boom, you're back in the slammer. No questions asked. Deal. Deal. Okay, you're free to go. A few moments later. Oh, greatness above. Turn all the people wearing green into money and send them to your shadow realm of everlasting pain. Mm. Thank you for your service, oh great one. We pledge you. <laughs> Seriously? What kind of behavior is that? That is so disgusting. And of all times, the ceremony? You should be ashamed. And now you can't even admit who it is. Very sad day indeed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was me. Well, I accept your apology, but... But that was unacceptable. And now you deserve to be cast away to the Shadow Realm. All right. Now we can finish the chant. We pledge to you, oh great one, for you are the best. And we offer you these gifts from eternal awesomeness all right good job everyone that should do it meanwhile ah it feels great to have all this money meanwhile well it pretty much looks like we can do whatever we want now no school no rules just plain old fun could always be worse today me and my best friend sky can only wear red because it's brookhaven day i can't believe it's brookhaven day already tomorrow i am so excited i think it's the best holiday of the year it's like the only day of the year i won't wear blue well yeah because we have to wear red silly i know i know but it's the only time i don't mind wearing something other than blue silly <laughs> well duh our matching red outfits are fire and we're gonna win the bougie competition there's a bougie competition this year what why haven't i heard of this because it's not real silly i'm just saying we're gonna be the bougiest ones there without a doubt we'll be the last one standing with our red outfits Meanwhile, please don't suck my blood. I'll do anything. Vampires scare me. Hush, hush. We won't suck your blood, but you have no choice but to do as I say. Ah! Or else we will suck your blood. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hurt me. But you have to make sure I get lots of money and get to pick who lives. Fine, but you can't pick too many people. We're hungry and we've got to eat. Yes. We've got to eat, honey. It ain't easy up in those mountains. Big Mama got to have her fill. Uh, I don't like her. She's scary. Honey, you need to relax. I got this. Let me handle it. It's taking too long. We should just suck his blood and destroy the whole city. Please, no. Don't hurt me. I beg you. We can't kill them all at once, honey. We have to be patient. And Mr. Terrible Mayor Ronald Stump over here is going to help us. Tomorrow is the annual Brooklyn. Haven Day celebration. You can all attack at night where everyone is out celebrating or in their houses. But you can only attack the people wearing red. Sounds perfect to me. You're lucky. Ah! Ha ha ha. Such a little wimp. One hour later. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Tomorrow is a 
big day for Brookhaven. If somehow you've forgotten what day it is, it's Brookhaven Day. I'm joined here by the best mayor ever and my really good friend, Mr. Ronald Stump. Hey there, Laura. Really good to be here. I just want to remind everyone to make sure and to not forget to wear their red outfit tomorrow night for Brookhaven Day celebration. Can't wait to see everybody there. I'll be sure to remember, and I'm sure everyone else will remember as well. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. The next day. Early, I have something to tell you. You look. What do you mean? What's going on? Do I look bad? You look like an absolute baddie. Do I really? Well, do I? That's a silly question. Of course you do, girly. Well, then that would make you a baddie too. I mean, we're wearing the same thing. Meanwhile. Come on, come on, answer darn it. Hello? My trusty lawyer, do not wear red tonight. Vampires are attacking the city of Brookhaven and they're sucking the blood of everyone wearing red. I made a deal with them to make sure my closest friends are safe. Is this some kind of joke? I'm dead serious. I emailed you a list of people, tell them all. Jeez, that is a lot of work. Ronald, and it's a holiday today. Do you want me to phone up the vampires and make them suck your blood tonight? No, no. Okay, I'll do it. One eternity later. I hope this all goes to plan. I don't want to get my blood sucked dry and die. All the pain and the horror. Hello? It's all done. Ooh, and everyone answered and you talked to everyone? Yes. A few moments later. I don't understand why you both care so much about that silly celebration. Yeah, it is so silly. Everyone cares about it. Yeah, it's Brookhaven Day. How could you not? It's the most celebrated holiday in Brookhaven. Yeah, I still don't really care for the celebration. Celebrations that revolve around family are better. But this could be a family celebration if you would just come. Yeah, we'll pass. Okay, boomer. Yeah, we're gonna stay home. So lame. Meanwhile. Ayla, how many times have I told you you can't wear the same thing as me? But this outfit is so cute. I know that. Moments later. Are you serious right now? Right? It's cute, right? Um, it's something more expensive than my outfit. Remember me specifically telling you it couldn't be the same thing or nicer or more expensive? What is wrong with you, Ayla? How many times do I have to tell you? I forgot. I'm really sorry, Ashley. Ugh, fine. You can wear it, but you owe me. Deal. One hour later. My mom takes Brookhaven Day way too seriously. Like, she made red colored food all day and made sure I was wearing red. Oh, you are such a mama's boy, Josh. She definitely loved it. At least her mom is celebrating, unlike me and Skye's mom. You should be happy. Well, I guess I am pretty excited, but she makes it embarrassing. Hey, kids! Hey, Mr. Principal Main, sir. Yo! Howdy! I love the outfits. You kids remember to be safe tonight and not to get into any trouble. I promise. I'll keep these two hooligans out of trouble, Mr. Principal Man. Hey! We're not hooligans. I'm the brains, which means I'm the good one, and Josh is the mama's boy. Hey! I'm the mama's boy. I'm the rebel. No one can keep me out of trouble. <laughs> That's going to be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, Josh, you are no rebel. Yeah, you'd be a rebel if rebels were mama's boys. See you kids later, and make sure Josh gets home to his mommy. <laughs> hey, I'm so not a mama's boy. Whatever you say there, Josh. Exactly. Moments later. Ah, nothing is better than a scoop of ice cream. Make up your red outfits because something bad is going to happen tonight. All those who wear red will die. This girl sounds crazy. I'll deal with this. Ma'am, you need to... Don't speak to me like that, you fool. I know things you guys don't. Oh, oh my mommy! Listen to me, girls, and save yourselves before it's too late. That's it. I'm out of here, girly. Me too. You must save yourselves. You're coming with me. No, I'm not. I'm a human being. Non-negotiable. So no one's coming to save you now. You'll pay for this. Five minutes later. All right, get out. Ha ha ha, see you never. What on earth is going on? That was weird. Ah, I'm in red. The first kill is always the most fun. Uh-oh. Meanwhile. Yeah, 
What's your problem? Are you okay? Do you need help? Whatever, dweebs. See you later, losers. Yeah, see you later, losers. Later that night. Ah, life is good. I totally agree, girly. I definitely don't. Ah, mommy! Uh, what the heck is going on? Uh, are we dreaming, girly? No, you're not dreaming. Go get help! Ah! Oh, dear Lord. Somebody needs to help us. Please. Please, our friend Josh is having his blood sucked. This is messed up, girly. Why do all good things get ruined? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, my. It's the loser brigade. Where's the other loser? Did he run home crying to mommy ever? Let me suck your blood! Come on, Sky! We gotta get out of here! Ah! Good riddance! Ashley! Oh, what on earth is going on? Ashley, are you okay? Why are you kissing that ugly person? I thought you had better standards than that. Ah! Moments later. What do we even do? I don't know! Wait! Girly, that crazy lady! We have to go find her! Fine! Good idea! A few moments later. Oh. in Brookhaven. The cameras will be able to find her. Moments later. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Please still be alive and be out there. Oh, the pain! <laughs> I love sucking blood. Uh-oh, not today. Yesterday. Hey there, how can I help you? Ah! Um, excuse me, but I'm not wearing red. I can see that now. Phew, thank God. What on earth is going on, Sky? They're killing everyone, but they didn't kill Laura. Girly, do you not see what's going on? They're only attacking people who are wearing red. And Ronald Stump was the one who told everyone to make sure that they were wearing red. Okay, we'll put the camera on his house to see if he is wearing red. We can't. There's no access to his house. We have to go there ourselves. But first, we gotta change out of these clothes. A few moments later. All right, Sky, this is his house. Let's do this. We gotta save the town, rescue the crown, and defeat the frown. That made zero sense, girly. Whatever. Let's just go in there. Right here, girly. We can't let him see us. Sky, he's not wearing red. I had no choice. Their plan is to drink the blood of everyone who's wearing red. But at least I got to pick who lived, though, by telling certain people not to wear red. And I got lots of money. I can't believe he allowed this to happen. Meanwhile. Oh, my gosh. It's you. I've been looking for you. So now you believe me. Yes. I have the perfect plan. Well, what are you waiting for? Fill us in. As soon as Ronald Stump falls asleep, we dress him in red and lead all the vampires to his house, lock the doors, and set the house on fire. One hour later. Time to get a taste of your own medicine. Later that night. Hey, vampires, come and get some fresh blood. Yeah, all the free fresh blood that you can get. I don't see any of them following us. Me neither, girly. Come on, we just gotta keep going. Moments later. Uh, why is there no vampires? This is so weird. I know, right? I don't like the feeling of this. We should go get that crazy old lady and then get the heck out of here. I agree. Uh, what's going on? I think we've been fooled. Some might even say betrayed. Yes, you have been stabbed in the back. I'm sorry. I made a deal with them so they wouldn't drink my blood. But good news for you guys is they like your style and they don't want to kill you. They're just going to turn you into vampires. Please. No, I'm begging you. I'll do anything. Don't worry. It's not that bad. The next day. I guess they're right. Being a vampire isn't that bad. Time for payback. Ah, I thought we had a deal. <laughs> hey, cuties. So today's role playing video, it's Brookhaven. You can only wear yellow. Oops. Girly! What? Look at me! Why? You're not looking at me. How do you know? Because I can see you out of the corner of my eye, Sky. You're playing on your phone. Well, so are you. Okay, everyone. Today we're going to be doing something super fun. We're going to be taking a survey of all of our favorite colors. Uh, did he mistake us for a kindergarten class? Does anyone? Tell him that is actually not fun for anyone. Look, I know what you're thinking. This is not fun and we're not in preschool. 
Why do we have to do this? But trust me, it will be worth it. Um, okay, well, at least he gets it. Still, girly, this is super pointless. Shh, Sky, just play along. Um, Mr. Teacher Man, sir? Yes, Ashley? This is dumb. Like, super duper waste of time, dumb. And my time is precious. Wow, thank you very much for that, Ashley. But if you will just trust me on this and tell me your favorite color. My favorite color is purple. Really, Ayla? I just said we're not gonna play along. Oh, sorry, Ashley. Well, as long as we're sharing favorite colors, mine is pink. I could wear pink every single day for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Mine is the best color there is. Blue. And Ashley, what about you? Uh, this is super duper dumb, but mine is green. Okay, great. I will add mine, which is orange. And with that, I think we just make up the rainbow. Now, I know you think this is ridiculous, but maybe this will help. We are going to be doing a class challenge. I've collected your colors, and whatever color gets the least votes will be the color I choose. Choose to do what? Yeah, if you're going to do a challenge, you need to tell us the rules. We're like the queens of challenges. This challenge is that you can only wear the color I pick. And no exceptions. Whoever wears only this color the longest without cheating wins. Ew, now the challenge is just as dumb as the question. What do we win? Well, I am very glad you asked Ayla. The winner of this challenge will get to be the teacher for the day. Wait, what? Is that what I think it is? Yes, whoever is teacher for the day will get to make up all the rules and run the class. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, teacher for the day, I will rule this school. Oh yeah, like you're gonna win over my dead body. Bring it on, Ashley. Hold up, hold up. Before we start with all the smack talk, let me do a tally and find out what color everyone's gonna wear. Please stand by. A few moments later. Okay, the results are in, everybody. Drum roll, please. Um, let's not. Fine, so much for trying to make it fun. So, it looks like everyone's least favorite color in the class is yellow. Uh. Wait, yellow? We can only wear yellow, but... My hair is yellow. I'm gonna look like a banana. Ew, no, please, please don't make us wear yellow. Hey, you don't have to wear anything you don't want to. But if you don't, then that means you're out of the challenge. Ugh, fine. I guess it's worth looking like ketchup and mustard to be teacher for a day. Yellow is so ugly. Is being a teacher even worth it? I mean, look at you, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. You are so so lame. Wow, thanks. I'm sure there was no offense intended for that. But Ashley, think about it. Being teacher for a day would bring you so much power. And what do you love more than anything? Power? Yes, I need all the power I can get over my peasants. You're right, Ayla. All right. Now that you guys know the rules, good luck. Remember, though, you can only wear yellow. Mackenzie, Sky, you guys are going down. Moments later. I know we're running super fast, but I don't know exactly where we're running to. We have to go clothes shopping, girly. Come on. Clothes shopping? Why do we need to go clothes shopping? Um, do you own anything that's yellow? Because I certainly do not. Ah, uh, good point. Come on. Now let's go to Rockstar. Ooh, just look at how cute this pink shirt is. Focus, girly. We need to win this challenge or else we're going to have to answer to Ashley. And let's just say there's a whole long list of things. Rather do than do that. Okay, okay, so we can only wear yellow clothes and yellow accessories. Hmm. Oh, I've got a great idea. I just thought of a way that we can make this even more fun. I seriously doubt that, but I like your enthusiasm, girly. What if I pick out your outfit and then you pick out mine? You're on. Ooh, I'm gonna make you look so great, girly. Well, that won't be too hard. I mean, look at me. I got natural beauty. Okay, let me go first. Voila! Not my color. Okay, do me next. Do me next. All right, this is gonna be fun. Girly, what have you done? Do you see these pants? They look like something my mom would have worn. <laughs> well, that was the deal. We gotta pick each other's outfit. But 
wait, there's something missing. Technically, since my hair is blonde and that is a shade of yellow that I'm wanting more. So you're gonna need something more yellow. Don't you dare. Let's see. Aha, that's perfect. Perfect? I've got a yellow hat on my head. Well, it doesn't make your hair look as shockingly red, so I think it works. Now, come on. A few moments later. <laughs> Meanwhile... the service. Ah! I've never seen a dress so bright before. Are you wearing the sun? What? Is this too bright or something? Mackenzie, for gosh sakes, you're gonna wake the dead up with that thing. I think you guys are being a little judgmental over the color yellow. I'm here to give my condolences. Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. Uh-oh. You're wearing black, which means that I win and you lose. I win. I win. Hey, what are you even doing here, girly? I didn't think you'd be here. Obviously, I had to come because she was our neighbor's great-grandmother's sister. It doesn't matter because I'm going to be teacher for the day. And you are going to listen to everything I say. Wow, you're really serious about this, aren't you? I'm serious enough that I'm wearing yellow at a funeral, yes. Moments later. And I can really go for an ice cream. Do you think I can get bubble gum or does it have to be a yellow ice cream? Yellow ice cream? the poem about the huskies in the yellow snow? I don't think it matters. Didn't you already win anyways? Well, I'm not a shoe in yet. There's still Ashley and Ayla. And I am not taking any chances of letting them be my teacher. Ah, uh, I don't think you have to worry about that, girly. Oh, hello, Ashley and Ayla. What a beautiful day it is. The sun is shining.
shining so bright. Oh, hey, what color is the sun again? Oh, shut up. Like I could stand to be in that hideous color for one more second. Hey, at least I kind of had an excuse. What? I said kind of. I never realized not wearing purple could be so hard. And if Ashley wasn't going to be teacher for a day, then clearly I had to sabotage myself as well. I mean, if she doesn't win, then nobody wins. Well, speak for yourself because it looks like I'm the only one wearing yellow, which means I win. Oh, please. You can't prove anything. Um, I kind of can, though, because I'm filming everything. Thanks, guy. Now, the only question is, do I want you guys to call me Miss McKenzie or Professor McKenzie? You wouldn't dare. The next day. Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss McKenzie, and I will be your teacher for the day. OMG, kill me now. Oh, I'm sorry, Ashley. Did you just speak out of turn? Uh, Mrs. McKenzie? Yes, Sky. Doesn't interrupting the class weren't a trip to the principal's office? Oh, you are so right, Sky. Ashley, please go down to the principal's office. Ah! Today, we're in Brookhaven, but you can only wear black. Whoa, this teaser is super cool. What is it? Oh, that? That's the new Adams Family trailer. Oh, they're coming out with another movie? Haven't they already done, like, 50? No, this was just a show about Wednesday. Ooh, it looks super cool, and I love the way she dresses. I do, too, and I don't know. There's just something about the Adams Family. I don't know. I just kind of always wish that I could be part of them. You want a pet lion, too? Well, duh. I mean, who doesn't? <gasps> what? What is it, girly? Who died? What's wrong? It's the beginning of October. I'm sorry. Is that like a code for something? No, Sky. It's the beginning of October. So, uh, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, but we're already in October, and we haven't done anything to prepare for Halloween. It's going to be here and over before we know it. That can't be right. We still have a few months. I think you're thinking about Christmas. No, Halloween's going to be here before we know it, and we've done basically nothing to get ready. I don't even have a pumpkin. I'm pretty sure that's a reason to panic. Calm down, girly. Don't panic. I mean, since spooky season is fast approaching and the new Adam show is coming out soon, why don't we just start dressing like Wednesday Adams to get in the mood? What do you mean start dressing like Wednesday? I mean, we only wear black. No other colors. Black it is. Won't people think we're like God? Who cares what people think? Do you think Wednesday cares what people think? I'm pretty sure that's the whole point of the show. I like it, but let's take it a step further. We can only wear black, but whoever wears black the longest wins. What do you mean? Like a competition? Exactly. Winner gets bragging rights and to pick the loser's outfit for Halloween. Oh, you are so on. Prepare to lose and be dressed as a hot wing for Halloween. The next morning. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. You're still a little too early for Halloween. I don't even have any candy out yet. No, I'm not trick-or-treating. It's me, Mrs. McKenzie's mom, ma'am. Sky. Sky, uh, why are you dressed like a creeper and where is the all blue? Is there something goth going on that I should know about as a concerned parent? No, not at all. Don't worry. We're just channeling our inner Wednesday. It's Monday. Wednesday Adams. And besides, Mackenzie and I may or may not be having a tiny little contest. Well, that makes a lot more sense. All right, stay here. I'll go get Mackenzie. Mackenzie, Sky's here. Come on. Are you going to be late for school? Mackenzie? Morning, Mom. Forget morning, Mom. What on earth is going on? What do you mean? I mean, why do you look like the corpse bride? Jeez, Mom, we're just getting ready for Halloween. It's no biggie. No biggie? You guys look straight out of the movie The Craft. Will you stop referencing movies that came out before we were even born? We're gonna be late for school. Okay, have fun. Try not to be picked up by any covens when you're there. <laughs> Kids, we look like witches. Good one! Moments later. Wow! warm I would be dressed in all black. Really? I'm pretty sure that's the one fact about wearing all black that everybody knows. Hey, look, somebody, and I didn't know. Happy Monday, friends. Ew, you're totally not our friend. You're our teacher. Okay, then. Well, that kind of hurt a little bit. Hey, guys, look, I'm as excited about Halloween coming up as the next guy. I mean, I already have my pumpkins, but sadly, we're not allowed to wear Halloween costumes to class. It's against dress code. What are you talking about? We're not wearing costumes? Yeah, do you see fairy wings or an eye patch? No, 
low, but you're both clearly dressed as witches. Why do people think just because we're wearing black, we're dressed like witches? Do you see a pointy hat or a wart on our nose? Oh my god, there better not be a wart on my nose. Girlie, do you see a wart? Relax, guy. You're good. Okay, well then, if you're not witches, then what are you? Because I'm pretty sure you two are like a walking baby shower every day with the pink and blue. I'm not dressed up as anything. We're just wearing black because we like it. What? This is gonna be so funny. Wow, bless you, Ashley. Do you need to go to the nurse? Achoo! Achoo! Mackenzie, stop! Come on, Mackenzie, stop making me sneeze! Achoo! Achoo! Mackenzie, Sky, stop it! Ow! What are you talking about, Ashley? Oh, what are they doing? I don't know. They're doing something because of their powers. They're witches. Achoo! <gasps> Mackenzie, Sky, knock it off! What? We're not doing anything, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. We're just sitting here. Ow! Mackenzie, stop right now, or you're gonna have to go to the principal's office. Stop doing what? I'm not doing anything at all. Make her stop. She's tormenting me. Oh my god, no, Mickey. Then take off your wool sweater, Ashley. Come on. They're making me itchy. And did anyone else feel like it just got really cold? I did, Ashley. Uh, of course you did. We did not do anything. Sky and I are innocent. We're not witches. There is no such thing as a witch. Witch! 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 What? Have you lost your mind, Ashley? I mean, saying she lost it means at one point that she had it, so I'm not exactly sure. Witch! 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 Stop it! Stop pointing at us! We didn't do anything wrong! Witch! 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 Okay, that's enough from all of you. Ashley and Ayla, sit down. Mackenzie and Skye to the principal's office. Now! Meanwhile... Okay, you two, I am gonna ask you one more time. Are you witches? No, outside of the movie and costume store, there is no such thing as witches. I mean, you are a principal. You should know this. Thank you for that, Sky. Your classmates are convinced you two practice some sort of witchcraft on them, including putting a hex on them. Is that true? No, those are our bullies. They do anything to mess with us or get us in trouble. She was making everything up. I swear. Come on. You have to remember what bullies were like when you were a kid. So you're saying you haven't practiced any sort of witchcraft on them? No. For the last time, we're not witches. We're not part of a coven and we're also not part of a cult. I mean, we are part of a Roblox fan site, but I'm not sure that counts. No, Sky, it doesn't. But what I want to know is why you two are all in black. I told you. It's a competition we're doing. Who can wear black the longest? And does this competition involve tormenting your classmates? Ashley had to go to the hospital. Good. Sky! Oops, sorry! Look, I don't know what's going on here, but I can't have possible witches at my school. Especially when it puts other students in the hospital. So you two are suspended for the rest of the day. A few moments later. I can't believe this, girly. Ashley is literally about to start another witch trial. She doesn't know how seriously some people can take these accusations. Let it go, girly. No, you don't understand. This is how it all starts. Next thing you know, she's gonna have us hung as witches. You seriously need to relax and just enjoy the fact that we managed to get a half a day of school. It's the little things in life, girly. God's beautiful miracles. So you're saying getting suspended from school was a miracle? Eh, uh, it's only half a day. Don't be dramatic. I just can't believe Ashley took this so far as to go to the hospital. Meanwhile... Um, excuse me, I said pink. Does this look pink to you? And will someone get me some cucumber water? God, I am so not leaving a tip here at this dump. Meanwhile... Yeah, talk about taking it too far, but who knows? Maybe they'll try some nice conversion therapy on her and she'll turn out to be nice. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Hey, Skya, do you see what I see? Ooh, is that the ice cream truck? It must have gotten the memo that we can only wear black. No, I don't think that's the ice cream truck. Ah! One eternity later. Sky, are you okay? Sky, wake up, come on. I was dreaming that we were on a beach, but this so is not a beach. Where are we? Were we kidnapped by an evil ice cream man? Oh, I was telling you, that wasn't an ice cream truck. Do you remember anything? Not really, can you? Not really, the last thing I remember was an old lady jumping out of the van and then forcing us into it. Oh yeah, the old lady. You always read about old ladies being so nice and sweet. She wasn't. No, she was no little old lady who lived in a shoe. She was a little old lady who, well... I don't know who she is, but I just know that we need to get out of here before she comes back. We're stuck in these cups, girly. How are we supposed to get out? Oh my gosh. No, please, please don't eat us. Girly, why would you even give her that idea? Ew, two. I need to talk to you. Please, let us go. We haven't done anything wrong. We're just...
Jesus, kids, we swear. I will let you go when you answer one question for me. Anything, we'll answer anything. And if the question is, what's your favorite kind of ice cream, then the answer is cotton candy. Early Sky, did you actually think that was going to be the question? I'm panicking, girly. I need to know what coven you are part of. Coven? What? What are you talking about? We're not part of anything. We swear. Brookhaven is full of rival covens, all competing to be the best witches. I need to know which one you are a part of. Wait, are you serious? You look serious to me, girly. Are you saying that witches are real? They're not just from TV and movies? Of course witches are real. How could you even ask such a thing? What about zombies? Oh no. So what is it? Which rival coven are you from? What? What are you talking about? Oh, for God's sake, for the third time today, we're not witches. There is no witchy part of us. I mean, maybe if you wake us up too early on a weekend, but besides that, we're just two normal kids. Then why are you all dressed in black? Just because someone wears all black doesn't mean they practice witchcraft. Isn't black just a combination of all the colors anyway? So if anything, we're just really colorful. So you're not really part of a coven. I didn't even know covens exist in Brookhaven until like right now. I'm still caught up in the fact that witches even exist. Okay, well in that case then, I will let you go. Moments later. Ew, what a day. We were almost burned at the stake at school. Got to leave early kidnapped and shoved into a van. Man, did today take a turn? Yeah, you're telling me. I thought the biggest obstacle of the day was going to be trying to avoid the sun while all wearing black. Yeah, me too. Maybe wearing all black wasn't the best idea, girly. You don't say. I think we're lucky to still be walking around with our limbs intact. That was brutal. I mean, we were kidnapped by a witch, guy, A real witch who thought we were witches. You're right. I say we just go back to how things were. Wearing our usual colors. Nice try. You're just trying to weasel your way out of the competition. I There's no proof of that now, is there? Good one. Hey, I better get home. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ooh, I can't really use some new clothes, and by that I mean I want some new clothes. But Mackenzie said the competition is still on, and I doubt they have anything black. Ooh, look at that blue top. A few moments later. Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, girly, it's not what it looks like. Several days later. Uh, 